Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over Bitcoin and the harsh rejection that we have just seen right here and uh, then giving some a general advice with altcoins because I've received about like six messages in the last 10 minutes all asking the same thing and I was like yeah I'm just going to make a video covering this right now. Um, so yeah, hope that you enjoy this and it's very useful, okay? So let's just cover this Bitcoin rejection, and this is a swing failure pattern if you've ever seen one, okay? So you do have to be on the low-term timeframes and at your PC, at the order book when you're looking at this. Because what happens, uh, so we broke the highs first on uh, Coinbase, I'm just, sorry, um, what we're looking at, Binance. So Binance broke the highs first, then obviously your biggest uh, volume exchange here, you're looking at uh, uh, BitMEX, okay? BitMEX shortly followed, shortly followed broke the highs okay broke the highs and this is where you have to be looking at the order book and know what you're doing with the order book okay you see the highs break for about five minutes okay so you look at the, i'll go to the one minute chart in a second and show you but basically you break the highs you see the order book flood with market shorts and obviously you've still got the depth to the buy side but the market shorts take over and you quickly take the you take down those highs and that is like a swing value pattern and you know this is what you sort of see you take the highs a few you know about five minutes of consolidation the market shorts start piling in as you cannot take the high and you get swiftly rejected and that is a rejection and a half okay and then uh, you can just see where you like then come up, you know, you get rejection, come back up to the old sort of consolidation prior to the move. And then you are starting to get rejected again now. So that is a swing failure pattern, basically. And I could explain that in more detail, but I don't really have the time at the moment because um, <laughs> it, is, it is much more advanced than that. But that, that's the basic idea. OK. So uh, after we saw that that swing failure, obviously you are seeing a sell off now. I would say that we although, yeah, it's. Um, a really big rejection in terms of percentage and obviously alts got absolutely destroyed on that movement okay uh but what you have to say is you <laughs> you know you've kind of where you begun the day okay so you come out here and look on the four hour okay you have just seen a a, a, a big rejection i'm not going to lie that is a, a not kind of what you want to see but at the end of the day we have just held support okay for another higher low so that that's the key thing i'm watching still uh for me this is just like a really big shakeout and yeah if you had been there in the time at the moment you could have yeah definitely taken uh some some shorts for at least a hedge in that sort of position but until we break support then it's just a fake out as it stands right now as i'm speaking okay we haven't took the low yet okay so obviously here on bitmex you're looking at the low of um exact price uh 8442 we have not taken that low this was 8452 so ten dollars saved the low um so we're really going to have to see how this plays out over the coming you know you know could be like 10 minutes by the time i upload this we might have lost this low but that for me is a warning sign if we take that low because that would be a, a a heavy percentage rejection followed by losing then the you know the low of this move okay that you're obviously looking then as a support here okay then you do have your you know key support levels just below 8300 8200 uh should we break that uh breaking that is a, a massive 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 red flag okay um but as it stands right now we haven't broke the low so there's like not an extreme need to worry at this point okay there really is not okay it's just if you take those loads and yeah you definitely need to be looking well i'm not going to say definitely anything uh not financial advice but you know i'd personally be looking to enter some then bigger hedge positions uh okay you always want to hedge anyway but much bigger hedge positions in that case because then that is a massive failure okay and that would look real bad on the daily okay it would look really unhealthy on the daily so uh, just think about that okay and then the you know what i'm gonna say now about the altcoins okay so this is like I hinted, well, no, not that I hinted, I imagined that we were going to get a swing failure pattern because you never know unless you're there in the actual absolute moment. Uh, but, you know, as I said, if your alt has now moved, you need to make sure you are locking in profits as it will not last forever. Um, this is the messages that I've received. So so many people had followed me and like got in on trades and they'd seen like 10% gains and then they see their 10% gain turn to a 5% loss like this. Okay. And this is like, it's like, please, you need to like protect your profits. You cannot just expect something to go up and up and up and up. And if you're sat there looking at like 10 grand a profit or one grand a profit, whatever, however big your position is, you know, if you're seeing those percentage gains, let's just say and you just think it's going to go up and up and up and up it is not going to go up you you need to not have that mindset that you too scared to take profits because you think it's going to continue no it's not okay you you know you have to be locking in profits okay so this was obviously posted on 9 at 9 a.m at 9 a.m from this time alts you know a lot of alts ran between five and ten percent okay that is a you know for a day trader i guess it all depends on your strategy really so it's it's a generalization but that is a, an amazing sort of percentage gain for a day trader so you do have to be locking in those profits because everything retraces and obviously as bitcoin had its high volatility then uh, yeah that destroys your alts even more 
Um, so yeah, what, what you want to see on the altcoins for alts to excel is Bitcoin moving sideways. Any sort of volatility to the up or downside is, is not going to be helpful for alts. And obviously the majority of them, yeah, got, well, these were, were all positive today. And now that, you know, the majority here, you're seeing like very negative coins right now. OK, so that is just the key of, of, you know, you have to be at least trading stop losses or preferably, you know, locking in profits at targets. OK, and uh, and then start begin trading stop losses because, yeah, that, there's some major downwards movements today. Obviously, some of the biggest altcoins, obviously, Icon, that is a major now, you know, rejection. Uh, what else has been moving like ontology? That was obviously a major rejection that you've just seen. Uh, another coin that I was trading, Zill. Zill saw Zill was like really nice actually, in my opinion. But that was like a rejection from the top, and now you've broken down support. But this got rejected. Then you did get a bounce from at the bottom of this parallel, and now we have just lost it. But um, yeah, overall that just like oh the Walton chain was recovered. But uh, yeah, the majority um have have now obviously lost key supports, and this is just like why you need to be locking in obviously there on on, on Walton chain. That's my you know key resistance. You know you lock in profits at key resistances basically. Um, you know obviously this continues on but you don't then just think oh my god oh my god you know you have to have a strand and a pattern strand a plan and a strategy know when you are going to get out of the trade before you get in it and you know just don't think that something's going to continue up or something's going to continue down you need to have a plan yeah otherwise you're going to fail uh 100 this market is not easy to trade um you know the euphoria i guess is a strong thing of trading you, you need to learn and understand to control your emotions and this is why it's helpful obviously to have a mentor in trading and i'm not trying to promote myself but if you have just found yourself being wrecked today then you know you need to tr you know s s seek uh, help inside yourself or reach out to a mentor and you know work on that because you should have made really good profits today and some of the people that message me that lost money uh it's just like i, I find that unbelievable but um yeah anyway enough of that uh, you know that's that was not not me trying to brag or, or say it's things like this it's just like trying to just open your eyes of, of yeah, just just be aware and like know anything can sort of happen in the market and, and have that sort of strategy and plan and don't get emotional in your trading just just be realistic i guess um but yeah, that, that's all I want to mention on this. And I want to wrap up the video because I do actually want to get back to trading this. But it was after I received those six messages, I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to make a real quick video just explaining like about the emotional side of, of, of this anyway. But um, yeah, I would like to go into more depth. But I literally am <laughs> so busy. So I need to wrap this up. I want to sculpt this. Um, so yeah, overall, we're seeing that high swing failure pattern. OK, but we are holding key supports. And while we hold that key support for me, this is just a shakeout right now. OK, it's only if we do break down those key supports, I'll enter bigger hedge positions. Um, but yeah, just don't feel bad if you miss that swing failure, because first you have to really understand and, and know what you're looking at there. If you try and trade swing failures and you're, you're a bit of a newer trader, you're going to fail. Uh, ultimately, I would um, honestly say. Uh, secondly, if you were not at your computer with your alerts ready for that order book, you, you would have also have easily missed that. That was over in like five minutes. So, so don't beat yourself up about it and just, um, you know, try and take a lesson from this, if anything, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I do hope that that has been beneficial. I honestly really hope it has. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm looking at now on Bitcoin. This could easily still just move, uh, you know, end up moving sideways. It, you know, just keep your eye on that key support level for me, really. OK, and then let's see if we can then uh, hold out the day at least on, you know, we're going to have to obviously see how that, this ends on the daily. OK, we've still got, you know, about um, several hours left of the daily. So this is, 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 is not a great candle to see on the daily. But, um, you know, things can turn around. We still have several hours left. So, um yeah, that's all I'm going to say here. I'm going to wrap up the video. I want to go back trading this. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video, basically. And it's been helpful if it has. Uh, you know, appreciate a like uh, and, a, and a comment of, of whether you have found this helpful or what you would like to see in the future from me. Um, so yeah, thank you, everybody, honestly. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Goodbye.